Good evening. Happy New Year 2022. Welcome to Moments with Mary on this marvelous first Monday of the new year, January 3rd, 2022. Welcome again. Remember to do a good deed for someone. I want to thank all healthcare professionals, frontline persons, for continuing to take care of us during these pandemic times. We are surely all in this together. Let's be safe and take care of each other. On today, I will share a few New Year's poems. The first one I will share is entitled, Happy New Year 2022. May 2022 be happy and great. As many will party and stay out late to ring in the year with bubbly and cheer, with hugs and kisses and frothy cold beer. Keep safe and be merry and have a great night. Don't drink and drive or get in a fight. Open your heart and let in the light with the blessing of God, the future looks bright. And the second one is, it's a new year, dare to. Ask for what you want, believe in miracles, change your mind if you feel the need, do the impossible, embrace the flow of abundance, into all areas of your life. Follow your heart's desires. Grow and blossom in the garden within. Hold on to your dreams and take flight. Impress your own gorgeous self. Just say yes. Kick a bad habit right to the curb. Love and be loved. Make many mistakes and see them as lessons learned. Nurture the heart of you. Overcome adversity. Play and embrace your inner child. Quit complaining. Reach for the stars. Some of them might cl be closer than you think. Speak the truth in love. Trust yourself always. Understand yourself in order to better understand others. Visualize the life you want. Wait until it feels right. Trust your intuition. Experience the moment. Yank the weeds from your mental garden. Zero in on your target and go for it. And that is, it's a new year, dare to. And the other piece I'd like to share is Amanda Gorman's New Year's poem, New, new Day's Lyric in Full. May this day, may this be the day we come together. Morning, we come to mend. Withered, we come to weather. Torn, we come to tend. Battered, we come to better. Teethered by this year of yearning, we are learning that though we weren't ready for this, we have been ready for by it. We steadily vow that no matter 
how we are weighed down, we must always pave a way forward. This hope is our door, our portal. Even if we never get back to normal, someday we can venture beyond it to leave the known and take the first steps. So let us not return to what was normal, but reach toward what is next. What was cursed, we will cure. What was plagued, we will prove pure. Where we, where we tend to argue, argue, we will try to agree. Where we weren't aware, we are now awake. Those moments we missed are now these moments we make. The moments we meet and our hearts once all together beaten. Now all together beat, come look up with kindness yet. For even solace can be sourced from sorrow. We remember not just for the sake of yesterday, but to take on tomorrow. We heed this old spirit in a new day's lyric. It's our hearts we hear it. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne, be bold, sang time this year, be bold, sang time. For when you're, for when you honor yesterday, tomorrow ye will find. No. What we fought need not be forgotten, not for none. It defines us, binds us as one. Come over, join this day, just begun. For whatever we, we come together, we will forever overcome. And that's Amanda Gorman's. N newest poem. And the last piece is prayer for the new year. Grant me the strength from day to day to bear what burdens come my way. Grant me throughout this bright new year more to endure and less to fear. Help me to live that I may be Free, I mean, may be from spite and pity, malice free. Let me not bitterly complain when cherished hopes of mine prove vain. Or spoil with deeds or hate and rage some fair tomorrow's spotless page. Lord, as the days shall come and go, Encourage, let me stronger grow. Lord, as the new year dawns today, help me to put my thoughts away. Let me be big and little things. Grant me the joy which friendship brings. Help me from selfishness and spite. Let me be wise in what is right. A happy new year, grant that I may bring to tear, bring no tear to any eye. When this new year and time shall end, let it be said, I, I have played the friend, have lived and loved and labored here, and made of it a happy near. And that was a New Year's prayer by Edgar Guess. So as I close today, I want to wish all January persons a happy birthday. I know my brother Joe is having a birthday um, on January the 9th, and my brother WC is having a birthday on January the 30th, and my friend Alan Rice is having a birthday this month. So I'm not, I'm not sure whether I included all birthdays, but if I omitted yours, let me know and I'll include it uh, next week. So again, thank you all for listening. 
I love you, Linda. I see you watching, Mrs. McCullum. Thank you very, very much for listening. I hope all of you have a happy new year. Um, continue to be safe. Continue to bow your eyes, mask, get vaccinated, and get your booster. Um, and remember, don't put yourself in a situation to get sick. I love you, and I will see you next week. Thank you. I love you again, and goodbye.